10 years ago I left Australia and my beloved Great Barrier Reef after having lived and worked there for two and a half years in search for new adventures. Global media has been telling us repeatedly over the last few years that the Great Barrier Reef is dying or even worth that it has died already. As I was planning a sailing trip in the Whitsunday Islands in Australia with some of my friends, I took this opportunity to have a look at the situation under the surface as well, snorkeling around the Whitsunday Islands during our 10 day cruise. I knew that the Whitsundays were not the best place to judge the entire Great Barrier Reef on and that the visibility wasn't going to be great. Even though I was a little surprised by the quality of the reef, not in all but in certain spots. We even came across larger fish like bedfish or barracudas and spotted some larger schools of fish as well. But only after going out to the outer reef and scuba diving bait reef we were able to make a first judgement. The reef seemed pretty healthy and full of life, big and small. There is no denying that the cyclone that hit that area about two years ago has left his marks. But to me it looks like the reefs are recovering slowly but nicely from it. I'm curious to see what the reefs look like further north as we are traveling up to Cairns the ribbon reefs and the remote osprey reef.